it's probably one of the most far away places that we go to. It's a massive mission getting up here. Amazing journey, it takes us a couple of months to fish our way up to the Torres Strait. Just about as much time to get home as well. It's really one of those destinations that is on, or should be on a lot of anglers' bucket lists. And Australia has uh, several different volcanic atolls in the Coral Sea, of which all of them offer some of the most diverse and amazing fishing in the world. My main target species at all of our Coral Sea locations is primarily dogtooth tuna. That's the draw card for the location. This is what we came here for. <laughs> yeah, travelled a lot, travelled far to catch this one. Certainly if I have somebody come up to me and say that they have to catch a dogtooth tuna or it's something they really want to tick off their bucket list, then Ashmore Reef is definitely the one to go to. Coral Sea is just teeming with dogtooth tuna, old volcanic seamounts. It's just the perfect habitat for these fish. Whenever we come out to these locations, you soon see the abundance of dogtooth tuna. Traditionally, you know, targeting dogtooth tuna, it's really been done by jigging. We have been focusing over the last few years, really solely targeting these fish on top water. Seeing 60 plus kilo fish come up and smash lures on the surface is something that, um, it is addictive. And uh, we're seeing a trend that guys are moving away from jigging and uh, moving on to surface fishing more for the bite. Um, and the fish in these areas are um, certainly not shy and coming up to the surface. And the ability to target these fish on top water successfully is what really makes this uh, location a standout place around the world. <laughs> Shallow water eat, 10 meters of water. Top water, yeah. Awesome fish, Whew. well done. something pretty special. Not only do we target dogtooth tuna out here, we have an abundance of giant trevally. There is a phenomenon that happens up here every time we come up here. Anywhere from 200 to 1,000 fish teeming together on reef edges and reef points. Something that all of our anglers have just never seen before. And witnessing schools of GTs it's something pretty spectacular. We have never seen anything like this before and it's truly something special. The guys have travelled all around the world and come to these destinations and see firsthand what a healthy fishery the Great Barrier Reef and the Coral Sea is. I think you know every top water angler's dream seeing that many fish together in one go. Uh, it's truly something spectacular. What we see out there uh, it's truly something special and unique to anywhere else around the world. Our Ashmore Reef Trip or Coral Sea Trips run on a very similar format uh, to the Great Barrier Reef Trips that we run. It's a seven night, six day format. We bring our operation up here once a year uh, for two to three weeks. Uh, it's very limited for the time we come up here. We really are looking for the best weather window. Typically we're up here towards the end of the year. They aren't the closest places to civilization. Getting here is a long journey. It's a flight into Cairns, then another flight on a smaller aircraft to the tip of Australia, and then either one or two more charter flights and possibly a boat ride. And I think that's all part of the journey in getting to these places and what makes it so rewarding to finally uh, get out here and have the opportunity to fish in these waters. What can I say? If you've traveled around the world and you want to be blown away, come to the Coral Sea with East Coast Angling. You won't be disappointed.